didn't mean to steal your host hostiness. Hi, um, welcome to the March 4, 2021 Enhancement Subproject meeting. My name is Lori Apple. I'll be your facilitator today. And I'd just like to remind you of our code of conduct, which is uh, to treat everyone with respect, be kind, remember what you say here is recorded and will go on the internet. So be mindful of that. I will share my screen and then we will look at the agenda. We have a couple of topics for today. So we have the enhancements process diagram, which I've been working on, got some input, but need much more. Uh, the second topic is uh, from DIMS, really, tools that can be developed by Google Summer of Code students. You know, so what project idea could we file? And we have some suggestions here. And from Anna, the enhancements repo access. From Steven, enhancements owners and refactors. And then action items that the receipts kept needs review. That's a lot. Anything missing here? Feel free to add to the agenda now. Um, which of these topics is urgent or is one that you've posted, but you have to leave early? We should start with that. Anything urgent or you're leaving early? Um, I would say PSA wise, do enhancements owners first. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so uh, we have been chatting uh, amongst the enhancements owners and um, Lori and I have proposed uh, some additional uh, enhancements owners, uh, some project owners. Uh, so first, uh, Kristen, you have been doing amazing work uh, across multiple cycles and really championing uh, kind of just making sure that we are honest about what we do. and. Um, we're appreciative, of course, and would like to uh, elevate you to a subproject owner. Um, so the PR is up, and I will toss that in the notes in a second. Um, additional uh, updates. Uh, so we have kind of the the owner's file folded out in a few different ways. Um, people that handle uh, so from the subproject owners, those are people that are in the enhancements approvers slot. Um, in the owner's alias. And then for the uh, enhancements reviewers, we have enhancements reviewers that are kind of the same list right now, but we can totally expand that list. Um, and then uh, those are people that I would see have been part of the process and would be tracking towards uh, subproject ownership. Um, now we also have the uh, kept tools, uh, provers and reviewers. Um, and those are uh, essentially people who are, have been spending more time in the code day to day. Um, happy to have more folks in that if that is something you're interested in. Um, so for the rest of those, those uh, aliases, uh, we're proposing Anna and Navarin as enhancements reviewers and uh, Navarin additionally as a KEP tool uh, reviewer. Um, so thank you again for all of your contributions. Um, Y'all have been doing really, really, really awesome work. Um, and the PR is now in the notes. So if y'all want to check it out, I'm wondering, do we need a, a, we've got approval from, we've got approval from a SIG architecture chair, uh, DIMS, and approval from uh, multiple enhancement subproject owners, as well as uh, some plus ones from uh, members of SIG release. Um, so I'm wondering, do we need to put a time on this? Are we happy to approve as is? Do we have any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, I think we can just go right ahead. I just put my approval on as well. So I think with enough owners, some project owners and me and Dems, we're good. Awesome. Well, welcome everyone. Yes, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. All right, yeah, congratulations. And thank you for all of your contributions. I think if there's no more on this topic, we move to the next one. Um, do we have anything else that's urgent, time sensitive, or you're leaving early? Okay. 
Okay. Uh, if not, then I will start. Um, I don't think with uh, 23 minutes remaining in all these topics, we could look at the diagram in detail in this meeting. But what I think we can do is assign uh, who would like to get involved in filling out that diagram and reviewing it um, based on like sections or specific asks. So if we go to the board just real briefly, you know, I've broken this down into the different stages, but this is a draft, right? Sorry, I'm trying to make this so it's somewhat visible. Um, you have a couple of items here that don't have any text, and these are um, marked this way because these are things that we probably need. So, for example, um, types of entry enhancements don't necessarily have templates for everything, or I wasn't able to find them using existing documentation. So that might be a set of to do's to to create those templates. I think we actually have covered those in 620, but I'm not sure if we've gotten all of them. Um, and then there is the actual flow itself. And you can see there's quite a number of steps. So looking for ways to simplify this process. Because yeah, it just goes and goes and goes. So, so I think I think a opportunity for simplification is solving for the uh, kept scopes types, like getting routing them out of the process if you know they they don't need uh, the the more intensive review that'd be required uh, for admission into the release. I didn't catch all of that. Can you uh, repeat again? What yeah, was sure. The so, verb. Yeah, so I think the, the the opportunity for simplification in the diagram is figuring out if you even need the type of review that we would be giving for someone uh, being included in the release, right? If it's if it's out of tree, if it's if it's process, um, we don't as the release team uh, enhancement sub team or PRR doesn't need to look at it really, right? Or doesn't necessarily. Okay. Need to. Yeah, so that is already identified. We have the out of tree here. So I think we probably just need to tighten this up, right? We need to streamline it. Maybe it's not clear what's in, what's out, why what's in is in all of those parts. So that could be a good to do then, making sure that this is very clear and doesn't block anybody, that they don't uh, put things into the bigger process that so don't need to go there. Yeah, I, th I think yeah. that's what yeah, I think that's a big piece of confusion right now. Um, does do I need to do more things to my thing that doesn't seem like I need to do things to it? Right. Um, can folks somebody also take notes because it's a little hard to do both. Um, so I want to make sure we get that down as the ask. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. I've stringling created a new word for you. Um, also, um, what else might be there? That could be um, changed. If you're looking for someone to just like review, I think Joseph was interested. So remember, mm -hmm. I, I asked my shadows if they were interested in, in it. So I can ask him to review it and fill out any thing he sees missing. Okay. For the, for the diagram, where would any comments that we have go? Um, I assume that we can't like comment on the diagram. I created like a, like a note, like a text box and just added there when I did oh, mine. Okay, cool. I hope that works, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Go ahead and change the diagram. That's not a problem at all. Anything else that looks obvious? Are there things that are in KK that really don't need? I guess there's a separate thing that doesn't need a cat, but like. Like some of the tooling things are in KK 
and maybe don't need, say, production writing interview. So the categorization of things, this is where I get a little bit, we talked about in tree versus out of tree in the categorization. And I'm not sure the definition of in tree, if it means just in KK, then that's not necessarily the same criteria for all rules apply to it. Right? So like a process thing um, or, or tooling thing more typically might be, a, might be a, tooling changes might be a process type cap. I don't know. They, they seem orthogonal, whether it's in KK and whether the cap is process versus functionality and things. I'm thinking in particular with my PRR hat on here is I don't necessarily need to PRR the tooling changes because there's no production code. Whereas, um, you know, uh, so I want to make sure we don't have a gap here in what policies apply to things. Okay. So I think what we can get out of this meeting right now is what, what are the, who can work on this offline? Who is willing to spend before uh, the next meeting um, contributing to this, like making this your top one or two priority for the next two weeks um, of what you do in enhancements? I mean, I can spend some time going through it. I haven't yet spent time going through it. So like, I agree with what John was suggesting as well. So I can try to take a stab at also clarifying that section. Cool. Okay. Um, Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, thank you. Anybody else? We can probably, I'll, I'll reach out to Joe, Joseph and see what he says, but anybody else here have some time to really look at this? New, new reviewers and provers. I mean, I think this is quite important because it continues to create confusion for people and it, pro it possibly probably eats up time where we're repeating answers to questions that if we had a clear diagram, we wouldn't have to do that anymore. Yeah, I have to say this, I hadn't seen this before, this is awesome. But... Thanks. Yeah. Super so helpful. thinking, There's a lot thinking of about the... what to do with the cap and when to make a cap, and this is awesome. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. So yeah, we're trying to get ahead of uh, future confusion save ourselves time in the future. So that's why I'd say this is important. I can we, take a look okay. again. I mean, okay. I already reviewed it, but I can review it again after a sure. few changes, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I made a lot of changes from your input. Thank you so much, Anna, that was really helpful. Yep, no problem. So um, yeah, so looking looking at this diagram really quickly, um, the, the it, it would be refining the the categorization. I think is is the biggest point, right? Because like my two axes are are do we need to review this or not, right? And then mm -hmm. within that, there like John was mentioning, there's the the tooling, the process policies. A tooling change may not require a cap. Uh, rather, a tooling change may not require a PRR review, but mm -hmm. if it is a change that can't land across release boundaries, then it is bound to the gap. The it is bound to the deadlines that we have for a release, right? Um, so that might require more scrutiny. So I think the types of we want the scope in terms of like is it entry out of tree, and we also care about um, we also care about like what type of change is it, right? Um, feature versus I guess, yeah, well, enhancement versus our code enhancement. I think it's, I think it's a, a, a glossary thing, right? Like we need a, like we've classically talk, talked about in tree and out of tree as code that is in Kubernetes, Kubernetes or code that is not in Kubernetes, Kubernetes. We need to explode that a little bit and say like, is it not just, it's not just necessarily the code that's in Kubernetes, Kubernetes. It's, is it specifically something that would turn into the the product or the project that is like what we ship, right? And and whatever the name for that is, right. I think there's a label. Okay, so I'm, I, I think we need to, to right. Production end code. because, yeah. Okay.
I think we can take that offline. I think we need to end because we have other topics to get to. Um, but we have a little bit of a start. Please watch the Enhancements channel. I would really like to not lose momentum on this because I think it is incredibly important for everybody here um, to be able to save time down the road. Okay. Um, all right, moving on to the next topic, tools that could be developed by a Summer of Code student. Um, Nabruin was also uh, kicking around some ideas here. So maybe Nabruin, if you wanna start us off. Is he here? Yep, sure. Okay. Um, so the premise is that uh, right now GSOC and our teaching uh, project idea submissions are going on. Um, and if we have something that we can plan for two months of work and we have uh, like scope of what we want to achieve at the end of two months, uh, we can propose a project in either of the programs or both if we have uh, uh, like adequate number of ideas. Um, so two of the things that cropped up in the community uh, from that Slack thread and several other threads were uh, number one, was can we extend like do we have any work on extending capctl uh, through like whatever we plan and the second thing was the caps website that we have been planning for some time um, so that was that is the gist of the conversations going on and we wanted to put this out for uh, discussion in this forum that's all uh, so does anyone have any ideas on this front so i'm I personally always have a problem. I love the idea of the program. I think that, you know, for like SIG release and, and enhancements, we're constantly in this weird spot where like the thing isn't figured out yet or the people who are best uh, are have the best opportunity to action on it are ones that already have context. Um, with enhancements, um, we are starting to figure out CTL, right? And and getting it in, and getting it in a place where more people can contribute to it. I don't think it's a two month project for someone. Um, the website looks like a, a potential good option um, for someone to, to learn more about the process as well as execute on the website. But because I, th I, I think we've been talking about this website for, for years now and it doesn't exist. Um, so seeing it actually happen would be great, um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure that, yeah, kept, kept CTL is definitely not the, the, the thing. So, uh, Bob. Yeah. Has... I... Sorry. Oh, sorry, Bob. Go ahead. Yeah, the, the one thing on the website is like once, now that we actually have the, the metadata, the actual work, if we just want to do like the original goal of essentially having a big sort of list view of the KEPs um, is not going to be a two month project. Um, if it is expanded to, also displaying like you know transforming displaying the caps themselves um that might be a little bit more in scope um that would also sort of fall in line with a goal that we have for the contributor site itself um if we want to display the caps and have all that there on that site um but that uh could be a whole other discussion um the one idea I was thinking about since I had the same thoughts about like CAPS TTL, et cetera, was that one of the pain points in the enhancement process is the docs stuff. Like, and I'm wondering if there's any like automation that could happen for like the, like there's, there's just a lot of docs related stuff and the docs team seems to be getting really bogged down with it. And I'm just wondering if there's like any automation that somebody could work on with maybe the docs team to try to make that process a little bit smoother, whether it's like um, some kind of tooling to like open the, cause we have that, sorry, we have that uh, thing where you have to open a placeholder PR, which doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense, but like, it just feels like there's some kind of automation potentially that could happen there. Either, you know, getting rid of some of the process, refining the process and then automating something to help the docs, cause the docs people with their stuff because they're kind of the one part that's not really changing in this enhancement overhaul as of right now. So, so I, I don't know what they need and that might be a conver another conversation with them, but I, I don't know. Yeah, so for, for that, I would I would say Jim Angel is your, your person. Um, we had talked about this in the past around uh, improvements for docs, um, maybe leveraging some of 
the work that is done in, uh, in uh, Krell to do uh, branch fast forwards and stuff like that. Um, so like that is like handling the branch situation for them would be great. Um, I think that one of the big problems that you run into is that people in around SIG docs will have different workflows in terms of Git, right? So there is a, uh, there is a matter of like figuring out your workflow, what works best, is there a tool that solves it all? Not necessarily, some people prefer to work with uh, GitHub uh, via UI instead of the command line tools. Um, okay. So that's one conversation, and I think it's maybe outside of the, the scope of this call um, specifically. Right. But um, for for the docs placeholders, that is that's a responsibility for the SIGs that should not be on on the doc uh, in sub team members of the release team. Um, the the point of you know part of the point of doing that is so that the people who have to handle doc review have a an idea of what their backlog is going to look like. Right, it's a it's kind of a, a planning exercise almost, right? Um, and maybe maybe the improvement there could be like refining what that planning exercise actually looks like. So we have three more topics. Can we answer this question right now, or do we need to think about it some more? And should we decide I think, offline? I think the answer is a no. I mm -hmm. think the right yeah. route is contributor experience and the yeah. website potentially. Okay, so the um, route is um, talk to Contribex about the um, docs topic and um, the docs so, so placeholders. Like the, the, the question that was being asked is, do we think we need an outreach return uh, intern? Mm -hmm. Do we want to propose a project for them? And I think the mm -hmm. answer is no. Oh, okay. Period, right, no. Got it. Okay, so um, tell but, Contribex no. Intervix now um, knows. Yeah. yeah, I mean. <laughs> That's interesting. We, yeah, we, we have like GSOC admins on the call and uh, it is acknowledged that uh, Enhancer's project does not need it. Intern. Okay, but I didn't know if you wanted to put it in there, the channel, you know, whatever else. It's fine. Like, yeah, go ahead and handle I'll, it. I'll, 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 it summarize it. I'll summarize it in the gist. So that okay, great. Else. Cool. Great. Thank you, Nam. Let's party on the next one. Yeah, Anna. Yeah, so I know um, some of you were already tagged on the Slack for this, but so since the milestone maintainer access was reduced a um, while back, so a lot of SIG leads have been reaching out or commenting um, to the enhancement team asking how they can edit the description of the enhancement issue because they lost that access. And I don't have an answer for them. I don't know if we want them to create a new issue or, well, they will run into the same problem if they create a new one and <clears throat> that person like goes away for a while, you know? And I wasn't sure what the plan is there. So we don't want a new issue. The new issue is going to break the fidelity of what the kept number encodes, right? Mm -hmm. The kept right. number links you to the, the enhancement issue. So we don't want new issues. Um, the, I'm surprised that the, uh, I guess the GitHub access does not do the thing that it says it's going to do. The triage role is supposed to allow you to, uh, to edit, uh, <laughs> edit exactly this, um, edit PR uh, descriptions. So I'm wondering if the people who are reaching out actually have, uh, are actually in milestone maintainers. Um, I, I think, you know, one route is to, you know, if you've had reports, who, who those people are and if they are actually in milestone maintainers. So um, oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Me and Kirsten. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's, maybe, maybe the well, difference yeah. is that we need to edit the description of an issue, not edit a PR. Like, is that, is that like a difference? Well, can you see if you can open a PR? Uh, can you see if you can edit a PR issue description right now? Well, so yeah. I did read that um, GitHub document of all the access that Triad has, and I believe it did say you don't have edit access to the description. Okay. Yeah, triage is meant right, for so issues. What's up? Um, tri triage is meant for issues on uh, on GitHub. 
I, I can't edit either. I can't edit the PR description and I can't edit the issue description. Yeah, it, it explicitly says that for any issue or PR that you did not create, you can't edit them. Um, so GitHub actions, the GitHub documentation on the roles say that. Right. It is given to, to, yeah, write an admin people, but not to triage roles. So oh, okay. that's where we are lacking right now. So do we have, we have two minutes left. Do we have an action item we can take or? To, to fix it, we can, mm -hmm. we can take it offline. Cool. All right. Um, we have these two left. I can, I can speed around. Um, so yeah, for, for receipts cap, like let's review it, let's get it in period. Um, for the re refactors, um, this is around, uh, going through, going through the repo. I've, I've noticed that like, it looks like the repo was written by five different people. Like everyone had a different approach for doing the same things that has led to those PRs that I linked or two massive refactors of the repo to try to get everything kind of on a stable foundation. If you are working on new features for kept CTL, please let people know specifically, um, want to, want to not, not call them out necessarily, but PRR reviewers, John and, and your crew, when you're adding features, please let us know because like often there is other work that solves the problem that is in flight already. Um, so like, yeah. So there are a few things that I had to dan dance around with um, Wojtek's PRs and stuff uh, to get it into the refactor. Um, so let's make sure that the process is not messy. Um, and especially now that we have more contributors that are interested in getting involved in kept CTL, it's going to be hard for them to do that if the way that we're trying to build things does not look the same. Yeah, no, it definitely uh, yeah. needed it. It kind of grew organically there and we did some work. Yeah. Thank you. So Jeremy has, uh, Jeremy has a design doc that we were poking at um, briefly. Um, I have some scribbles that are in that design doc, so it's not public yet, but we will make it public um, to get, a, get everyone on the same page about what kept CTL should and shouldn't do. Um, and we can ship that hopefully in the next week. All right, I think that was it then. Um, who, who, well, I think just who, who would uh, own some of these topics? Who will own fixing the repo? Uh, who will I'll do, do that? that? Okay, how about reviewing the receipts cap? I think all of the enhancements owners should be taking a look at that. Mm -hmm. So plus, plus Kirsten now. Um, mm -hmm. Now Bruin fixes the gist. I think that's up, uh, but I think that's all. Right. Um, I, I will thing, handle the diagram stuff. Perfect. Uh, one thing to mention, it feels like now that we have switched to 30 minutes that we're rushing, do we need to make this a 45 minute meeting? We I guess can... we could um, set up a poll I'm... in the channel. Let's, I would yeah, let's plus one to that. I mean, to me, to me, like we can always end early, but it's hard to extend if people haven't blacked out the time. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree. So, you know, let's do another meeting or so just to kind of feel it out and then and then make a decision, do the poll or something and see if we need to extend it because it, it does feel like we're rushing right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> All right. Later, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hi.